So Jake has always told me uh, that despite doing a hand fellowship, he wants to make sure that he's able to practice uh, bread and butter plastic surgery. And so one scheme he's devised uh, to make sure that he's able to do that is by serving as a uh, ritual mohel or circumciser for uh, Jewish babies. And when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Who wouldn't want their kids winky sliced by a plastic surgeon? And while he's there, he talks to all the mothers uh, who may or may not need work done. So uh, it's a great idea, but as residency drew to a close, Jake realized that his circumcision numbers were very low and that he needed more practice before he goes out there. So, and you know, when I thought about it, it made a lot of sense because whenever I was out with Jake at the bars, he would always ask other guys whether they were cut or not. And I thought he was talking about their abs. But uh, one night when I came back uh, from the bars, I went over to Jake's house. And to my surprise, there was uh, a guy there from the bar, uh, except he had uh, his jeans at his ankles. And Jake was wearing only a mask. And he had chloroprep in one hand and a scalpel in the other. And that's when I put everything together.